tapped into uh, Social Security uh, by, by cuts in the way of uh, uh, we used to get cost of living increases. We're leaving the rest of this, which you can see at cspan.org, to go live to the House. Members are coming in to consider a bill that would allow churches to merge their pension funds with other funds. Six of Rule 20. Record votes on postponed questions will be taken after 6.30 today. For what purpose does the gentlelady from Illinois seek recognition? Uh, Mr. Speaker, I move to suspend the rules and pass the bill, H.R. 33. Clerk will report the title of the bill. Union Calendar Number 81, H.R. 33, a bill to amend the Securities Act of 1933 to specify when certain securities issued in connection with church plans are treated as exempted securities for purposes of that act. Pursuant to the rule, the gentlewoman from Illinois, Ms. Biggert, and the gentleman from Indiana, Mr. Carson, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentlelady from Illinois. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend the remarks and to add extraneous material on this bill. Without objection, so ordered. Mr. Speaker, I, I yield myself uh, such time as I may consume. Gentlelady is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of H.R. 33, the Church Plan Investment Clarification Act. I'd like to thank my colleagues on the Financial Services Committee for their support of this legislation. I would also like to thank Mr. Carson of Indiana for managing the bill for the other side of, of the aisle. H.R. 33, the Church Plan Investment Clarification Act, is a technical correction bill to amend Public Law 108.359, the Church Pension Fairness Act. It clarifies an exemption in current law to allow church pension plans, like secular pension plans, to invest in collective trusts. Due to a technical error included in the 2004 law, the necessary exemption from the Securities Act of 1933 was not provided to give church pension plans access to uh, collection trusts. Cl uh, collective trusts allow pension plans to pool their assets, diversify their investments, and share risk and transaction costs with other pension plans, thereby reaping the benefits of collective buying power. Again, H.R. 33 clarifies that church pension plans, like secular plans, may invest in collective trusts. On June 22, 2011, the House Committee on Financial Services, by voice vote, unanimously approved H.R. 33. This bill is similar to the original Church Pension Fairness Act bill, H.R. 1533, which the House passed in 2003 by a vote of 397 to 0. Finally, the bill is supported by a number of organizations, including the Church Alliance, the General Board of Pension and Health Benefits of the United Methodist Church, the YMCA Retirement Fund, Everence Financial on behalf of the Mennonite Retirement Trust, the Retirement Plan for the Mennonite Church of USA, the Seventh-day Adventist Church in North America, Church Pension Group on behalf of the Church Pension Fund, an independent agency of the Episcopal Church, the Ministers and Missionaries Benefit Board of the American Baptist Churches in the USA, the uh, Board of Pensions of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, and the Pension Board of the Uni uh, United Church of Christ. With that, I urge my uh, colleagues to support the bill and reserve the balance of my time. The lady reserves her time. The gentleman from Indiana. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself as much time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Mr. Speaker, this bill would permit church pension plans to invest in collective trusts by correcting a technical error that resulted from the interaction of the securities laws and the tax code. In 2003, Mr. Speaker, Congress passed legislation that was intended to accomplish this goal. But the final law did not make the necessary corrections to the Security Act Securities Act of 1933. As such, IRS regulations currently prevent collective trusts from allowing investments by church plans. This bill will make it more cost efficient for a religious organization to manage its pension plans. By allowing the plan to manage its assets through a collective trust mechanism, alongside the assets of other pension plans, church pension plans will no longer have to be managed separately, which creates greater cost to the plan and its participants. The bill, Mr. Speaker, effectively provides another option for church pension plans and allows them to be managed 
much more like other kinds of pension plans and will minimize costs. This bill is supported by the Church Alliance, a coalition of 37 denominational benefit programs that provide pensions and health benefits to more than one million clergy across this country, lay workers, and their family members. Mr. Speaker, I urge adoption of this bill, and I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman yields his time. Gentlelady from Illinois. Uh, I, Mr. Uh, speaker, I have no further uh, uh, speakers. And does the gentleman? For no, ma'am. Gentleman, gentleman is yielded. All right. Then, in that case, uh, I would yield back the balance of my time. Gentlelady yields back her time. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass H.R. 33 as amended? Those in favor say aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds uh, being in the affirmative. Mr. Speaker, on that I would ask for a recorded vote. Does, the yeas and nays are requested. All those in favor of taking this vote by the yeas and nays will rise and remain standing until counted. Sufficient number having risen, the yeas and nays are ordered. Pursuant to Clause 8 of Rule 20, further proceedings on this question will be postponed. Pursuant to Clause 12A of Rule 1, the Chair declares the House in recess until approximately 6.30 p.m. today. More live coverage.